Hello, I'm Herald Press editor Megan Grevy. Here's a look at the Wednesday, February 26th edition of the Herald Press. Um, late last year, an unknown error in the software used by the Huntington County Auditor's Office resulted in a $2.5 million shortfall in tax payments to the Huntington County Community School Corporation. Uh, Cindy Yider, Huntington County Auditor, said the payment, plus $22 in interest, was made to Huntington County Community School Corporation on January 3rd. Um, also in today's paper, the Huntington City Common Council approved a 10-year tax abatement for the United Technologies Electronic Controls to um, update some of their equipment. And also the school board um, approved the 2014-15, I'm sorry, the 2015-16 calendar with the um, caveat that um, the spring conferences would be decided at a later date. There was a lot of discussion about the purpose of those conferences, what the best use for them would be, when the best time for them to be was. Um, so yeah. And then also the Learning Center um, is about $550,000 into its goal, so um, it's a little bit about halfway there. Um, a lot of people we talked to were very excited about the project and say it will help both uh, students and adults um, once it starts classes, which I believe are supposed to be in the fall. So um, maybe, anyway. It's moving along very well, so um, for more on that, check out tomorrow's paper. On the education page, we take a look at the um, some students from the LaFontaine um, Arts, or the LaFontaine Arts Council's Student of the Month. And then in sports, the Huntington University men play Grace College at 7 p.m. to open the Crossroads League Tournament on Wednesday. Uh, the girls are actually playing tonight, so good luck to them. And, I'm sorry, the women. And then um, also there were several um, foresters who got all conference nods, including Pazia Speed, Amelia Recker, Lori Culler, who was the coach of the women's team, and then Shane Merriman, TJ Short, and Derek Heinen. So congratulations to all of them as well. And uh, go foresters tonight and tomorrow. So that's a quick look at the uh, Herald Press for Wednesday. We invite you to pick up a copy.